Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm gonna be talking about EDC Las Vegas, answer some of the questions you guys have been dying to know. Instagram asking questions on my Insta stories. If you are going to EDC for the first time, what questions do you have for me? So I decided to throw all those answers into a video. So that's what we're doing here today. We're going to just be going through those answers and I'm going to be able to talk to some of those topics a little bit more. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. Be sure to hit that subscribe button to join the little vibe tribe. I love you guys so, so much. You can also find me on social media at vibe with aid. Also give this video a thumbs up if you like it, want to see more like it, all that good stuff. The tips for the newbies. Glitter tutorial or how how to stay cute when it's hot and sweaty. I'm testing out biodegradable glitter soon in a video. It's probably gonna happen next month, so I'll have some content on that. I do have some glitter tutorial on like my Halloween video. If you wanna check that out. How to stay cute when it's hot and sweaty. Honestly, I would always have my hair up and away from my face so my hair is not, not like all crazy and annoying. And then also get a good setting spray, get a good lasting foundation, stuff like that. I really don't like sweat all that much at EDC. Like unless you're like super close to the front where it's packed. Even when I'm like dancing or shuffling, I'm not really like, oh my God, I'm so hot and gross and sweaty. The date changed to being in May. It made it like so much more cooler than like the year before. What are the best spots at EDC to sit down and relax for a few minutes? You can sit in the bleachers at Cosmic Meadows. The eye, that is like my favorite thing to do. I'll always sit there. Cosmic Meadows also has grass at the stage and on the sides. And they usually have some cool art installations on the side. Like last year they had this, it was like a moving like art thing. I don't know how to explain it. I'll put a picture. And people would like lay under it and just look at it. It was like really cool to look at. There's like always good areas over around Cosmic Meadows. Honestly, I just popped a squat a lot of different places, like by Circuit Grounds, by Sonic Bloom Stage. Like you can just pop a squat and like no one's gonna be like mad at you as long as my camera dies mid sentence. <laughs> I think I was supposed to say like no one will get mad at you for like just popping a squat unless you're like deep into the crowd. So on to the next question. Tips for getting ready if I'm camping at EDC. I've never camped at EDC, but I can imagine it's similar to like electric forest. What you'd probably need to also make sure you bring is some type of like handheld mirror or like something that helps you get ready. If you're driving and you're able to bring like one of those cheap like long mirrors from like Target or Walmart, that'll help you like make sure your outfit looks good, stuff like that. I think that's like probably the biggest thing. And I know in the tents they have plugs. You're able to like do your hair and stuff. That's all I really know about camping at EDC. I'm sorry, I can't really like help be a little bit more. I don't know what the shower situation like is there. So if anyone has feedback on that, comment that down below. Does it get cold at night? No, it doesn't. Is premier parking worth it or not? GA is just fine. Premier parking last year when we did it, cause we stayed at Airbnb and it was four of us and we split the parking pass. And I think it was so, so worth it. We got to bypass all the traffic. You go into a separate lot. And then I was home by 7 AM, which is like prime for EDC. Like we left right when the sets were all done. We were home by 7 AM at least. Whereas like when I did the shuttles, like I didn't get home till 9 a.m., 10 a.m. If I did regular parking, I don't know what that timeline looks like for people getting out, especially if you do do GA parking, I just recommend even leaving like 20, 30 minutes before the sets are done, just so you can get a head start on getting out. Help with transportation, I've kind of touched on, a on shuttles, I've touched on driving. I'm not gonna even recommend doing Ubers or Lyfts because they get so pricey and so crazy. Well, I would either spend the money on the shuttles or Premier Parking Pass. Which water stations are the least least crowded been three times and I can't figure it out. Oh my God. I would always fill up in between circuit grounds and wasteland and then in between base pod and wasteland. Like those two, I never had any issues with. More so the wasteland and circuit grounds one, I would always have an easy time with. What I also do is a lot of people go to the ones that like people are serving them water into their camelback, which yes, that's easy when you're like holding it, like it's super helpful, but I've just gotten really good at being able to do it myself. So I always go to the self-serve ones because there's never any lines there. What are some allowed items we can bring to sit down on? I looked this up and I couldn't really find much on it. I, they don't really have anything about like no towels, no blankets. You could always test it out and bring just like a small towel or something and just see what they say. I always have a pashmina, so sometimes I use that to sit on, but otherwise you're gonna be sitting on grass or if you go in Cosmic Meadows, you can sit on the bleachers, which is like normal seating. Shoe recommendations, so something you're gonna be comfy in. I recommended to one 
girl who she wanted to wear the holographic dolls kill boots that I had and I said I would wear normal running Nike shoes with like Dr. Scholl's and them something on the first day because you're gonna be walking way more than the rest of the festival because that's the day you want to go and get early see everything day two wear those shoes that you like bought for EDC that are super cute make sure you break them in before and then depending on how that goes wear those shoes again on the third day or wear your running shoes if your feet are dying I also sneak in ibuprofen <laughs> because my feet always hurt and so no matter what like no matter what shoes I'm wearing they're gonna hurt so I sneak in ibuprofen I haven't gotten caught so <laughs> this girl said first time at EDC and first rave ever what should I expect what do you want me to like even start? Like where do I begin? <laughs> to that, if it's gonna be your first EDC ever and you wanna know what to expect, go watch my vlogs. Go watch literally any video on EDC. Go watch the Under the Electric Sky video on Netflix. I verbally just don't know where to begin on that. <laughs> Will Premier Parking Pass be worth it? Yes. How do I even prepare for the fireworks? You don't. How close should I try to stay to the racetrack if not camping? I think as close as possible. Our Airbnb last year was like 15-ish minutes. So try and find something close if you are not wanting to stay on this trip. Try and find something as close and that fits your budget. How much for the stay? Clubbing only one night. Grocery shopping beforehand. Grocery shopping beforehand definitely helps get all the food and stuff that you need so you're not spending as much money on food like at your hotel or like near your hotel whatever and then like you can get some stuff while you're at EDC I will say this EDC is easily a thousand dollar trip if not more because you have your ticket and then your hotel stay wherever you're staying if you're camping that adds it all on then you have your flights or driving and gas and stuff like that and then you have like food and you have anything else like your outfits like stuff like that like EDC can easily post to over a thousand and people spend way more because if they like buy drinks at the venue and like stuff like that so if you want to go to EDC that's just like you got to start saving and all that stuff I'm camping any tips go check out Emma Capote's videos on camping because I've never camped at EDC and it seems like it's similar to camping at like forest but not really because your tents provided for you and so and you have electricity whereas like forest you don't have electricity and you have to bring a tent go check out Emma's videos on that you experience thigh chafing during festivals and what have you used personally to help yeah. So I get asked this a lot and girls, it's okay. We all get thigh chafe even though it's so, so painful. It happens. So what I use is I actually, I have eczema. So I have a cream that helps that. But also what I'll do before is put some deodorant down there. I'll put some baby powder, like stuff like that. Put that in between my thighs and then I'll be on my merry way. And I haven't had any issues. Fishnets is also a good like barrier between the two kind of, even though it's like not fully covering it still kind of helps if you get like those rhinestone tights that I see all the time like that's like a good barrier if you're worried about it stuff like that that was the last question I had so if you do have any more questions feel free to comment them down below let me know all that good stuff I hope this video was helpful but that is it for today's video I hope you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up if you liked it hit that subscribe button to join the little vibe tribe I love you guys so so much and I will see you in the next one with this beautiful lighting <laughs> bye <laughs>